day. But uh, the energy was great, which was expected on day one. Uh, guys have been hungry to get out here, you can tell. And, uh, you know, we're, we're limited on what we can do in the summer with these guys. We are allowed to know if, you know, if they're showing up and, and we're working out. But how you can really tell is when you're actually on the field, how they execute. And guys have made leaps and bounds on you know, day one by doing on their own a lot of good things in the summertime. So talking with uh, some of the guys today, they said that attendance-wise for player practice in the weight room, this was, quote, the best summer ever. First day ball camp, would you agree that at least there's a solid foundation? No question. Um, yeah, and it's uh, we're from attendance and an effort standpoint, where it's evident is our game. We made tremendous games in the weight room and, and running to it. So uh, that's been good. And then, like I was saying earlier, you can really tell on the field how well because we haven't practiced this, obviously, three months ago in the spring, and there wasn't a drop-off. And we installed a lot from day one, and it was awesome. It was like you're already mid-spring form. So that's a big tribute to the guys and what they did this summer. How are you trying to divide up your quarterback reps spring? Well, right now we're doing it very similar to what we did in the spring, is we're repping uh, Dakota, Travis, and Curry. Um, Code and Travis so are taking a little more reps and carry. Uh, the neat thing about fall camp is we got a lot of time to you know, play out. It's basically like having almost two spring balls, and then, then we get into game preparation. And by by the time we get into game preparation, we're obviously going to take the majority of the reps. How physical is Rocky almost like a player? He is, and that's, that's been a huge positive for us. You know, he uh, he's a big reason those quarterbacks has to progress the way they progress because he's done a great job with those guys in the offseason teaching them the offense, which says a lot about that guy. Very selfless. Um, you know, he's helping us a ton too, taking that to the receiver and doing a good job of it, which makes the whole team better. You need a lot of legs out there. And uh, I can't say enough about his attitude. Paul Fitch said today that he'd like to stare to the ball. Game is starting quarterback about a week before, but wants it to be organic, as he said. What do you think it's going to take to organically name a starting quarterback? I'm not sure what organic. I took organic chemistry, but I'm thinking of a whole different deal. I'm going to go to that. Um, I guess to, to finally find a quarterback that, that. Earthy? No, he just wants to like just like find a, a solid kind of. Uh, okay. Uh, like, what do you think? Well, Helch is into organic. Yeah, what do you think it's going to take? What do you think it's going to take to like know that this is your starting quarterback? I mean, what do you, what do you think? Well, we we hope it's obvious. You know, we we hope. Um, we hope it's obvious. Yes or no? I mean, it, the great thing about having a quarterback battle and competition is we have depth. You know, we, we want to go into the season thinking we have three guys that we can win. Um, and right now, we think we have better depth than we did last year. So that's that's a big positive. You know, as far as, you know, if we've had one practice, um, we're going to keep putting those guys in different positions and to see how they do. But we, we, we would like it to just naturally for it to be a no-brainer decision, but it might not be, too. You know, it's as a quarter, as a coach, if both guys are getting better or all three guys are getting better, that's a, that's a good decision. Um, you know, and the big thing with in our offense, our, all our quarterback has to do, we've got some pretty good playmakers around them. We've got to make good decisions and be a good leader. He doesn't have to win the football game for us. And I think those guys have figured that out. And they're letting the playmakers around them make plays. And so that's, which takes a lot of pressure off those guys. Uh, talking about that, uh, Helfrich said today, you know, they just got to make layups. You know, and as you said, you really don't make mistakes. Who's making the most layups and who's making the least amount of mistakes right now? Really hard to say. Because I'm, I'm out here having fun with you guys and I'm a chance to watch all the tape. So, uh, you know, it, they both did a good job today. From just, a, you know, when you're in practice and you got, Right now, we're trying to do a whole bunch of things as far as a lot of guys rep, so a whole bunch of things are going on. We you can't really make an accurate evaluation until you actually sit down and watch, and that's what I'm going to do right now. But, uh, you know, just from first glance, they both did some really good, actually all three of them did some good things. And you can tell that uh, they all kind of made use of the summertime because they're a lot further ahead than when we stopped. But uh, the photo of that offense was a little bit more similar to some of the main lead options that you guys did. Probably your most natural running Well, he, he can. We, we think all those guys can run the ball pretty well, right? you know, which you know that makes us more versatile. You know, that's part of being uh, in my position is finding out what our players can do well. That's what fall camp, spring ball is about, and then doing that. Um, you know, and we're always going to 
look at uh, you know, how, how can we get better. So that, that's still something that we're working on. But I, I like the skill set of those guys because, you know, in our offense and, and every offense you want a quarterback that can run, keep a play alive, and all those guys can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.